Howdy gang and welcome to your 8th Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about two-way data binding. Okay, so in the last tutorial we've already looked at key up events on these input fields. Now, I just want to get rid of these modifiers for the sake of this video because we're going to talk about two-way data binding. So now imagine that around about here, if we had say a span tag underneath this, we want to output the name, right? So we'll output the name there. And also under here, we want to output the age. So we'll do another span tag and we want to output the age. Now, currently these are not variables or properties that are stored on our view instance. So this is not going to do much for us at the minute. So let's go to this view instance and add these in the data object. So name, and we'll just keep that as a blank string for now. And also age, we'll keep that as a blank string as well. Okay, so what we want to happen is for when a user inputs something in here, this updates with what the user enters for the name, right? So we'll do that now. Instead of logging this to the console, what we'll do is we'll get rid of that. And what we'll do is update the name and the age properties, right? So we can say this dot name is equal to whatever this is equal to right here, right? But instead of reaching in and grabbing this input field and returning it here and updating the name this way, this is a little bit long winded. Instead, what we can use is two way data binding using the V model directive, right? So forget all this, forget I even spoke. And instead, what we're going to do is attach V model to this and this. So we can get rid of this event, if you like, and we can get rid of this event. And instead, we can say V model is equal to whatever variable or property we want to attach this value, the value of this input to. So we can say V model equals name, and that's going to attach it to this name property right here. And likewise, down here, we can say V model is equal to age, and that's going to attach this input field to this variable right here, this age one, right? So the way two-way data binding works is that when we enter something into this input field right here, Vue.js is going to look into that. It's going to pick up on that event that we've added something into this field. It's going to see that it's associated with this model, this variable, and it's going to update it right here. Okay, so say we type in S, the name then becomes S. And since this has changed here, when we're outputting it to the browser, Around about there it's also updating in the browser so it's going two ways it's going back and forth or forth and back right hence two-way data binding so this is really cool because if we go to the browser now and type in Sean you can see Sean right here is being output right if we type in age 27 then it's been output here and every time we edit it it's been updated in the browser right so not only is it being updated here, but it's also being updated back in the browser once this has been updated as well. So that is two way data binding. And this has a lot of useful features. For example, imagine we had um, a blog, right? And when you go to write a new blog, you want to offer the user who's writing it a preview of what they're doing, right? So what you can do is attach the input fields of that blog to a model using V model, and then you can output them to the screen so that the user can preview what their blog is going to look like. Pretty cool, right? And there's many more uses of this as well. And we're going to be using V model and two-way data binding in other tutorials as we go forward. 